So let me do some playing card messages. Take this C, it's kind of dark. Playing card message. This could be a different reading, I don't know. We're gonna be in my vibe, be in my mood, or whatever. So, that's all I feel right now. I'll probably look nice and stuff. I don't know. You know. But I try to look nice right now, but still, you know what I'm saying. Presentable. I guess I call myself a presentable person. But lighting, all that shit. I don't know what the fuck it is. And I also don't know how to walk this. I know how to do this. Hold up. <coughs> I don't want to see too much of my face because that's the thing I'm going to do. Let's just shut this down. So let's just fade in one more card there. I see you all kind of in some Ten of Hearts here. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Hearts, and the Six of Wands. With the Ten of Cups, I see the energy of like emotional fulfillment. And you're feeling very victorious right now with the Six of Wands. I could be talking to a Pisces, a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And <clears throat> with the seven of wands I'm getting like, it's like a glowing victory here this could even be towards your finances with the seven of pentacles so congratulations you have the seven of wands also but it's putting it's put it's calling for you to put more on your plate or to have more on your plate right with the ace of swords truth yeah this could be the truth about your financial fulfillment with the seven of cups or like how you feel uh, emotionally when it comes to the truth what makes you feel good with the eight of hearts seven of swords what's the seven of swords seven of swords jacks of wands seven of swords you could be communicating in like a the, the way that you are communicating the way that you are presenting yourself the way that you are seeing or like are showing up as could possibly be in a jack of wands like character even more so in this six of or in the seven of diamonds energy it's like communicating is what i'm getting you can have a very youthful childlike way of kind of communicating or getting your point across or kind of like a yeah respectful type of energy this could be communicating anything though right seven of swords means seven of swords means like well swords means like thoughts your thoughts swords means like how you are thinking what's going on in your mind and mental Aries or uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy right air sign anyway so you can be a Gemini Libra and Aquarius I'm getting here right we have ace of coins here so with the ace of coins I'm getting some sort of financial uh, fulfillment or abundance that you are receiving or that you came into something's going to make you feel better kind of get more into this event kind of uh impulsive energy like the little joker we also have the two of wands so i'm getting a lot i feel like a lot of you are getting your groove finding your footing i feel like you haven't found your footing you can find your groove i feel like a lot of you all are doing so or doing that i see two three almost i see two very hitting energies and then i also see one more with the ace the joker and this two of spades the highest cards that you can play in the game of spades right this could have to do with a collaboration possibly um you could be living in a household this could be a uh, maternal or a motherly energy so i'm getting like this with your expression so something about working with you in your expression all right in a foundation of some sort with the four of pentacles right like a photo shoot when i say a foundation i mean a photo shoot that's what i mean that's what i mean that's what i'm picturing like a home shoot you could do that home shooting okay so i could use some pick again right eight of diamonds and we also have the king of wands so you could be thinking about a King of Wands energy or something like that. I want to look up. I want to look up the meaning of the Eight of Swords because I always forget the meaning of the Eight of Swords. Um, I also want to feel like I can do this. The Eight of Swords. The 
data source is a metaphor for feeling trapped or trapped in a loop. So you could be feeling like you are trapped in a loop when it comes to masculine energy. So when it comes to fucking with or messing with attractive dudes, or this could even be your own masculinity. All right, this could be how you are loving yourself, um, the ways that you like to love yourself. Are you treating your inner child with with care, letting letting it you know have joy or do whatever brings fulfillment? Having that self relation is what I'm getting. Something about that, dude. Down my fucking ankles, dude. Like what the fuck, man? Fucking slam high as skin, dude. I literally slammed door slammed in the back of my foot, and I'm wearing loafers and fucking socks, and motherfucking. I didn't realize I had a cut. God, baby. We have the six of pentacles, the five of pentacles, and the six of pentacles, five of pentacles. What's going on now? I kind of got lost. So it's like, let's see, five of the fuck is going on? Five of swords, two of pentacles. The spirit is literally pulling the cards that I do not know. Okay, so five of swords. The five of swords, anything about the swords talks about communication or mentality. So it talks about your mental space and your communication. But what specifically the five of swords is talking about? is and when you read cards like this you don't read it like the same way five of swords meaning the card indicates that you are engaging in conflict of some nature okay so you could be kind of facing disagreements or conflicts of interest or conflict with those around you with the two of pentacles there you could have had some sort of conflict or something like that Right, two of pentacles would be facing a lot of times, but not like a not like in like a bad way, but like just I don't know. People could be feeling like they need to compete with you or that like something about um five of swords reverse and not the reversal. Five of swords indicates that the challenges you have overcome have given you the wisdom, strength, and empathy to heal. Okay, so I'm getting some of you all could be healers even, okay? But I'm also getting like or a wise or teachers, but I'm also feeling like you have been overcoming some sort of challenges when it comes to that or when it comes to something that's significant also. Right? Four of hearts, three of pentacles. Four of hearts, three of pentacles. Yeah, yeah, I got a really wow, wow, really big deck right now. Right? I got the big joker. I wanna trump all of that. Let's get to the message. I got the big joker, so you're definitely taking on some sort of position of leadership of authority. We got the nine of swords. I really wanna know what the nine of swords is though, only because his hand is really Five of swords. Nine of swords. Nine of swords. Excuse me. Now the nine of swords suggests that dark thoughts and disturbing feelings are weighing you down. Okay, so you can be feeling as such. You can be feeling like you're being wary about certain things or situations. You can kind of be feeling a little depressed right now. Your mind, your your mental. It's like you want to really make sure you're taking care of that. And I feel as if that's significant here in this in this energy or in this time with everything that you have and to have responsibility over. Right? Especially if you are creative, you are an artist of some sort. We have the Ace of Cups. This is something you love. Right? We have the Six of Swords too. Six of Swords indicates... I need to learn the Swords. I know every single other card other than the Swords. Because I don't really like to be in my head too much. I'm, I, don't, I don't think I have any air sign charts in my placements in my chart. I'm really thinking about it right now. I don't think I have any. The Six of Swords invites you to let go of whatever is holding you back, be it from your past or your present circumstances. So a lot of you all are releasing a lot of things that were holding you back. This could be things that you're looking, um, that you're thinking about, okay? That is period, kind of just going through some shit. Now we got the Three of Swords here, or the Three of Wands. So I'm getting like, I was going to say banter. So banter with a, a possible Piscean energy, right? With the King of Cups. It's gonna have to do with a lot of responsibility that you have, all right, and the amount of self love and wanting to prioritize yourself, possibly your finances and, and your foundation, your own foundation with the King of Pentacles. All right, this could be something that you could want to talk to, talk to this person about, or conversate about when it comes to working it uh, with someone in their home, possibly with the Ten of Pentacles. Let's see. I'm going to shuffle the deck, see if I can get a nice hand, read it from the hand. Six of Cups. Let's put the deck from the Six of Cups to the Three of Swords. You could definitely be getting over some sort of past heartbreak or past 
ending a relationship um, with the Six of Cups. Someone could have ended. I don't think there was like, I don't, I don't know, for a lot of you all, it could be, it could have been that deep, honestly, is what I'm getting. But you may not have, you, yeah, you, you, probably, you could have had like a cold demeanor when it came to it. Um, with the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Jack of Pentacles. So the Eight of Swords is also when it talks about creativity. Right? You can want to collaborate with two people. Right? This could be a manager, someone that deals with contracts, paperwork. Um, someone that's very good with organizing, right? And then there could be another individual who is someone more youthful in their expression or just youthful in their life, right? With the, with the Jack of Pentacles. I also feel like this Jack of Pentacles poker face is really hard to read. And right? we have the Four of Swords also. What's the play? And then we have the Four of Swords and the Three of Swords. I know Three of Swords just talks about heartbreak, betrayal, heartache, um, pain, shit like that. What is the four swords talk about? I feel like it has to be talking about communication. The swords energy also is talking about communication. The four swords indicates it's time to gather new strength and prepare to face a new challenge. So there could be something new that you're wanting to do. It also stands for, uh, it represents rest, relaxation, and recuperation. So R and R. So some of you all could be taking some R and R or be thinking about it for yourselves, right? To get over this uh, heartbreak. All right, we have the Four of Wands. Also, this is also talking about like having a party. So someone, you know, get back in the scene when it comes to that, like you're really standing in your independence with this Nine of Pentacles energy. But the emotional kind of uh, process that it has been, but the the type of I'm getting the but the type of person that you always have been, that others have seen you like be, like experience you. It's like you kind of getting back in that but it's more of like an emotional transition is what i'm seeing with the seven of hearts the three of hearts the six of hearts it's like every sometimes it's like every time you kind of get over it it's like another heartbreak with the three of cups and then it's like you have to heal through it again with the six of cups so i get like some you know a lot of you all really taking that cold and exercising that cold demeanor to protect that from happening again possibly learning your lesson all right you could be thinking about talking to a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or communicating with this person. What is the, what is the, the Ten of Swords mean? The Ten of Swords represents like a confusion. Uh, is what I'm getting. Ten of Swords meaning the Ten of Swords indicates a major disaster of some sort. So something tumultuous could have happened to a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Or someone could just have, be facing a lot of controversy or a lot of uh yeah hearsay is what i was gonna is what, is what i was gonna say it could you know break up separation sadness grief pain infidelity shit like that what is the number one sign on here ten of swords emperor destruction being pinned down by a multitude of things or situations so you're just feeling like you could have possibly this so this this libra gemini and aquarius king of swords energy could feel like they're just being pinned down by a lot of shit. And especially with the card, cards came out like this. With the Ten of Swords and the King of Swords underneath it. So with the Ten of Swords coming out on top of the King of Swords, that definitely indicates and represents some feeling of destruction being pinned down by a multitude or, uh, you know, things or situations. Is this things that you've been kind of dealing with or handling in a more youthful kind of like um, less care um, way, which is helping you kind of feel good about that, kind of exercising things in a less serious, not taking things as serious, kind of makes you feel good, right? It kind of excites you to like you know, the Ace of Wands energy. You can be pinned down, feeling like you're pinned down by certain thoughts that you have about this ace of wands this could ooh, this ace of wands is nice and it's the last card that was out there but came out the deck was the ace so the, the word ace or the name ace could be significant um you could be holding your ace or you could be presenting your ace or what you feel like or as it is your ace or something like that ace is passion also ace is also dick and ace is also sex. Yeah, ace of, ace of wands 
as that. If it's just gonna be a fire sign, you could be a fire sign dealing with one Aries and they're Sagittarius. You could have that anywhere in your chart, every aspect and your placements. You can like get really in depth about this Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, yeah, let me show you this card. Ace of Cups. I think something with you is really fulfilling emotionally. Also, it could lead to some sort of like. Oh, I feel like some of y'all have about to have sex with someone, and it's about to actually move you into like some sort of like family fulfilling energy for now. Three of Wands, Three of Wands. Okay, just waiting on it, and I wait, and then Three of Wands came out. Three of Wands, Three of Swords. What's the Three of Wands though? That's what I want to know. Three of Wands, tarot card meaning upright and reverse, Lab labyrinthos. The Three of Wands, when upright, a signal of time when you can enjoy the profits of your hard work. So you could be thinking about, someone could be trying to enjoy themselves and actually like have the successful feeling. But it's like something about this heartbreak, this disaster, this fucking, this, what the fuck is the Three of Swords? It's just like vindictive, dude. The Three of Swords is just like, Ugh. Like, I don't even want to, like, think about Three of Swords because it's just not a good feeling to feel energetically. The Three of Swords comes from a reminder that pain, sorrow, and grief are necessary. Those are literally, like, the worst emotions that you could process, like, experience, or feel. The Three of Swords defends the message of rejection, betrayal, heartbreak, and discouragement. So you could be feeling betrayed by somebody, like, or rejected. You feel like you rejected someone or someone someone feels rejected by you. But I feel like you're not rejecting this person with the Jack of Wands. Like you're very excited kind of to get towards your work also. It's like you can combine your passion and what you do for work to earn some income or something like that. I I like the Jack of Wands right here. I like it. It makes me happy. Like I feel like you are really happy. When it comes to something from like new that you're beginning with the Ace of Pentacles, dude, or something that you're gonna get, right? You could be getting something, or you could have gotten something. Someone could have done something for you. Right? For you, Jack of Jack of Pentacles or Jack of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with like a someone whose expression is more playful, more youthful, more um, colorful. The Jack of Wands character here is a, a characteristic. Dude, Jack of Wands is dope. Okay, Ace of Ace of Pentacles. Um, it just makes me really happy with that energy. And I also feel like that this Jack of Wands has things that he's. It's like this person, maybe he or she. This person has eyes in the back of their mind. It's like, damn, like I don't know. It's like something about the past is helping this person now. With the Ace of uh, Pentacles. Right. Let's see, what we got in the hand. We got the Nine of Diamonds, the King of Wands. The Two of Cups, the Jack of Wands, or the Jack of Pentacles, and the Four of Diamonds. So we have the Four of Diamonds. What's the Nine of Diamonds? Dude, let's start there. Let's start with the first card. How about that? What's the Nine of Diamonds, dude? That's a good idea. Nine of Diamonds. Nine, nine of Diamonds, Nine of Swords. And Swords is Diamonds. <clears throat> swords is Diamonds. Wands is Spades. Pin, uh, clubs is pinnacles, um, and swords uh, and diamonds is sword. I think I said that. And diamonds is swords. Um, ace is wands. Pinnacles is uh, damn. Clubs is pinnacles. Let's start over again. Okay, wand. Uh, fuck. Um, spades is wands. Okay, I, I keep skipping over the nine of swords because I don't like it. Okay, so obviously. Something about the Nine of Swords energy that I don't like right here. The Nine of Swords is often associated with fear and anxiety above all things that's worrying you and keep you up at night. So you could be overcoming like tr like um thoughts that you're having, like when it came to like uh, damn what's it called intrusive thoughts. You could be overcoming right about yourself or about uh, King of of, of Wands energy. 
I think this could be Aries or Sagittarius or someone that you view as very attractive or someone that's very sexy, confident, attractive, self-assured. This could be a creative. This could be an artist. This person is really, really look. This person is really fucking hot. I don't know. Very attractive to you. Very attractive to a lot of people. This person could possibly have a lot of suitors. The King of Wands is someone that looks really fucking good. This person could want to work with you and kind of work on some sort of emotional collaboration. But for you, this person, this person sees you as someone that they can actually like teach in a way, guide, be there for in a way when it comes to that. Especially when it comes with the Four of Swords energy. Four of Swords. I can't, yeah, I can't stand sword energy, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. I don't have any, I don't have any, air, I don't have any Gemini, Libra, Aquarius placements in my chart, so I cannot just vibe with that energy, dude. Like, cause like, I'm saying I cannot, but it's just like I'm not gonna put myself in that energy. You know, fear, anxiety, and stress. You will be, you, you will be feeling overwhelmed and mentally overloaded when it appears. So you can be feeling overloaded. This person could have a lot that's on their mind. It could be feeling a little mentally overloaded right now. But it, it also means yes is what I'm getting. So the answer is yes. This person wants to tell this person yes. So this, this is dope. This is what you want to do. Right? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be doing, saying saying this or this person could be telling this to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The King of uh, King of Pentacles energy, or King of Cups energy. Right? It's a very notari notified energy. Someone that is very uh, well respected. The King of Cups is. For their emotional control um, and their emotional um, intellect, or the Queen of Wands. So again, with this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, I'm getting a lot of fire sign energy in this reading. So a lot of you all could be fire signs. It could be a fire sign feminine. Something about fire sign feminine is very uh, important. Or this could be you, right? It must not have been that important because it didn't come up on my phone. I have a notification that popped up on my Mac for some reason, which I don't understand. Most of that wasn't that important to me. Oh, it is kind of important. Actually, no, it's not. It's not actually. Yeah, I've been doing class. I've been trying to message my teacher back all night because I'm catching up. I'm catching back up on assignments too. Cause I just got arrested. I just got out of prison. That's why I haven't really been uploading and shit like that. Like, cause I've been, I literally just got out of prison. So I'm just like, dude. And like, I wasn't in there for long though. But like. I've gone to prison multiple times before, and it's like, no one wants to fucking be in prison, especially when they're, like, focused on what they're doing, especially when you have, like, a regular life that you're living, like, you, you, you're on a, you, you're, you know what I'm saying, you, you ride in your, your wave, you know what I'm saying, what, going to jail is, like, the worst thing that could possibly happen, and then these motherfuckers sent me to jail for no reason, dude, like, I was like, bro, what, you the fuck, the first time, alright, it is kind of my fault, the first time they let me go, they let me go on my first charge. I, it was misconduct. But I didn't, I didn't, how, who the fuck gets arrested for misconduct? And what the fuck do you mean misconduct, dude? Like, so they arrested me for misconduct, and then they let me go. The magistrate let me go. He's like, fuck with that. But then he gave me, he gave me a court date. <clears throat> he gave me a court date. And so I was like, I was like, all right, cool. So they told me to go pick up my property, right? They told me to go pick up my property, and that I have until 5 p.m. to go pick up my property. So I got, like, my duffel bag. Bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. This motherfucker, this nigga, this motherfucker arrested me. I got my North Face duffel bag, my Herschel laptop backpack, a van shoe bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these niggas, you know what I'm saying? So, like, anyways, they let me go. I go over to get my property, bro. They talking about they close at 4 p.m. I'm like, no nigga, like, I'm a full time student, bro. I need, I need to get my my MacBook is in my motherfucking bag. Like I don't I don't really care, bro. I just got like I really don't care about none of this shit, bro. Like I need my property. I really, I really, like you're not about to feel like come back tomorrow morning at eight AM. I'm like, no bro. What do you mean come back tomorrow at eight eight AM, bro? No. It's four it's ten minutes past four o'clock, bro. I just came out of prison. I need to go home, so I need my property. None of y'all paid for none of that, bro. You don't even know what valuables you know what I'm saying? You don't even know what valuables are in there. So some of y'all could have had that experience, right? But I see like your passion actually kind of helped you in a certain sort. I feel like I'm reading for myself in energy, which is kind of dope because it's like, but I can kind of like explain it better in the cards. I kind of want to do that. Let me see. I am telling the truth though. It, to, to, yeah, I feel like some some of you all's passion or some of my passion could possibly 
uh, saved, or, like, like, benefited me in a way, alright, with you all, like, communicating your truth, communicating, like, just in general, being very communicative, but, like, in a childlike way, shape, form, manner, or in a more, like, naive or immature way, it kind of, like, pulls on people's heart string, heart strings in a way, it kind of makes them favor you with the seven of wands, the five of wands energy also, with the three of cups, it makes them want to make you, like, do something nice for you, all right, Ace, Ace of Swords. <clears throat> I feel like either you or this person, I feel like something about a foundation is really important. We have the Four of Swords here. Like you, you, you could be, you could have a, a specific a role, or you could um, play a specific part, or you could just be exercised in a, a certain energy in a foundation, the energy that you're kind of working with, exercising. But I just feel like it's just you just feeling fulfilled and comfortable in your own energy and your own self, honestly. I feel like this is the first time it's kind of you all in a long time could have possibly had this experience. You have the king of com of king the king of pinnacles, of clubs of pinnacles, which is also <laughs> which I just said, the king of comfortability. So a lot of you all could have entered the most comfortable periods of your lives right now. We have six six. This is something that's going to happen. This is something that is um a foundational. I live the night of pinnacles really just independent. Becoming more and Financially independent. Like I said, the most comfortable period of your lives, possibly, because of this. I'm, I'm getting independent. You could be becoming independent or, or going independent in a work, also, with the, with the Queen of Swords here. You could be an independent startup, invest, uh, independent artist of some sort. But I see a lot. I see you, you being successful when it comes to something. Though. I see if some sort of foundation did happen. Ace of Swords. I think this is Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. If there was some were to be some sort of foundational collaboration or situation, I do some, see that something will be successful. I, I, with the Eight of Pentacles, I'm also seeing Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. This is Seven of Swords. And my phone's about to die, y'all. So I'm trying to, like, not. I'm trying to, like. Because my MacBook don't charge it. And I'm about to finish this reading. And I'm going to do another one later. But I'm about to finish this reading. Because this was just a vibe. Was it Seven of Swords? Seven of Swords upright. Traditionally, the Seven of Swords indicates theft, betrayal, deception, and trickery. So, whoa. Okay, so what's the Five of Swords? This card indicates you were engaging in conflict in nature. So someone could have, so you could be, you could have gone through some sort of conflictive nature or just in a conflictive environment. Some of you all could have grown up in conflictive environments or something like that. And now with the Seven of Swords, what's going on with the Seven of Swords? With the Seven of Swords, someone could have stolen, okay, you could have gotten robbed in your place of living, or foundation. But I get like, what if and when this happened it's like it's weird because you you were the authority figure here so it was like you it's like how you felt about something it's like you you love to collaborate with the three of pentacles especially when it comes to the home there's a heavy emphasis on that all right that's where you feel like you can work personally with people yeah create more interpersonal relations emotions and, and connections all right i feel like it's fire i feel like it's i feel like it, that some of y'all got some really dope energy i got the eight of swords the seven of cups <laughs> um and then i got the queen of pentacles so we got the seven of cups here so the seven of cups i get like you're looking forward to offering your cup to someone at some point i'm, I'm not sure I, I feel like some of y'all want to go fast some of y'all want to do that shit right now all right because i looked at the back of this card some of y'all some of y'all are like, yeah, let's go, type of shit. All right, someone can, someone, yeah, someone wants to send, like, send shots at you, right? Or shoot their shot at you. Either send shots, throw shots, or shoot their shot at you, right? I just see arrows pointing directly towards the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be, like, you know, a lot of people looking at you. 
Jack. Yeah, I, so the Jack, the Jack, or so the Jack or the Little Joker came out, but it rotated, it turned, it slid. So it's like a lot of people are this big Joker. A lot of people are, have some sort of responsibility that you hold your, yourself up to. A lot of you are are big wig. A lot of you are um, have experienced a lot of things. Um, but to the swords, you even can possibly have memories of those things. Um, to this day is what I'm hearing. You know, the Five of Pentacles here. Uh, let me go ahead and clarify the Five of Pentacles before we get into the reading. The Five of Pentacles is a card when upright means to lose all faith, lose, losing resources, losing a lover, mostly showing up. So someone could, you could be feeling like left out in the, okay, I get it, I get it now. Some of y'all could feel afraid or having these thoughts of being left out in the cold if you were in that energy or if you feel as if you were always left out in the cold. I get like some trauma from that. 